What's good everyone, it's your boy Nelly coming at you with some juicy celebrity drama. Today, I've got the scoop on a heated argument that went down between my girl Ashanti and her ex-girlfriend Chantel Jackson. Apparently, Ashanti just couldn't resist throwing some major shade at Chantel, and it did not sit well with me. Brace yourselves, because this one's about to get messy. Let's get into it, okay, so Ashanti and I have been together for a minute now and things have generally been going pretty well between us. Sure, we have our ups and downs like any couple, but for the most part, we're solid. Or at least, I thought we were. Recently, Ashanti's ex-girlfriend Chantel Jackson has been making headlines again. Chantel's been posting all kinds of motivational content on her social media, talking about how she's been on a major self-improvement journey and how she's feeling more confident and empowered than ever. Now, I don't know the full backstory between Ashanti and Chantel, but from what I understand, things didn't exactly end on the best of terms when they broke up, and it seems like Ashanti just can't let go of that bitterness, because she just couldn't resist taking a subtle jab at Chantel on her own Instagram. Ashanti posted this super cryptic message that was clearly directed at Chantel, saying something about how some people really need to focus on themselves instead of trying to portray this perfect image. And she followed it up with a whole bunch of laughing emojis, like she was really relishing in it, you know? Well, I saw that post and I immediately knew it was going to cause some drama. I mean, come on Ashanti, we're supposed to be the grown-ups here. Why do you have to go stirring up all this unnecessary beef? So I pulled Ashanti aside and I was like, babe, what the hell was that all about? Why are you shading Chantel like that? And Ashanti just kind of brushed it off, saying that Chantella needed to hear it, and that she was just keeping it real. But I wasn't having it. I told Ashanti straight up, look, I get that you two have history and there's probably a lot of unresolved tension there. But don't you think it's time to just let that go? You're acting petty as hell, and it's not a good look. Ashanti fired back, saying that I just didn't understand because I wasn't there for all the stuff that went down between them. And that's when I really started to lose my cool. I was like, are you serious right now? I don't need to have been there to know that constantly throwing shade at your ex is some middle school bullshit. You're a grown woman, Ashanti. Act like it. Ashanti got all defensive then, saying that I was just taking Chantel's side and that I didn't care about her feelings, but I made it crystal clear that this had nothing to do with taking sides. This was about Ashanti needing to grow up and stop acting so damn immature. I told her, look, I love you, Ashanti. You know that. But this petty, high school drama nonsense? It's got to stop. You're making yourself look bad, and you're making us look bad too. Is that really what you want? Ashanti tried to argue that she was just keeping it real and speaking her truth, but I shut that down real quick. I was like, no, that's not keeping it real. That's just you being insecure and lashing out, and it's not a good look on you, babe. At that point, Ashanti started getting all teary-eyed, saying that I just didn't understand what she'd been through. But I told her, you know what, you're right. I don't know the full story between you two. And I'm not saying Chantel is completely innocent either. But that doesn't give you a free pass to be petty and immature. If you've got unresolved issues with Chantel, then you need to deal with that directly, like an adult. Don't just be throwing shady subtweets and acting all passive-aggressive. That's not gonna solve anything. In fact, it's just gonna make you look worse in the long run. I could tell Ashanti wasn't happy about me calling her out like that, but I didn't care. Sometimes you've just gotta be the voice of reason, you know? I told her, look, I want us to be happy together but that's not gonna happen if you're constantly stirring up drama with your exes. So here's what I need you to do. I laid down the law and told Ashanti that if she's serious about this relationship, she's got to let go of all that petty beef with Chantel. No more subtle shade, no more subtweets, no more immature bullshit. She's got to take the high road and focus on moving forward, not dwelling on the past. I also suggested that maybe Ashanti should try reaching out to Chantel, try to have an honest, adult conversation and finally put all that drama to rest. It's not gonna be easy, but it's the only way for Ashanti to really grow from this and become the mature, confident woman I know she can be anyway, that's the tea, y'all. Nelly had to step in and set Ashanti straight. 
Hopefully, she takes my advice and starts handling her business like the queen she is. But we'll have to wait and see. Stay tuned for more celebrity updates. All right, that's all I've got for you today. As always, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comments what you think about this whole Ashanti Chantel situation. I'm always down to discuss some juicy celebrity drama, so feel free to sound off. Until next time, this is Nelly signing off. Peace.